The Dark Souls series is primarily known for their eerie settings and lore, unforgiving combat, and online multiplayer capabilities. But what if these features were included in a couch co-op game? Let's take a look at eight couch co-op Souls-like games. Salt and Sanctuary combines elements of Dark Souls and Castlevania in a unique 2D adventure. As a chef on a mission to save the world, armed with an iron pot and potatoes, the game immerses players in a challenging world filled with pirates and menacing creatures. While heavily inspired by its predecessors, Salt and Sanctuary manages to establish its own identity. Through its distinctive art style and deep, interconnected skill tree, the game offers a rewarding experience for those willing to face its brutal difficulty, with the option for couch co-op to make boss battles more manageable. Despite some minor flaws, Salt and Sanctuary shines as a lovingly crafted homage to its influences. Salt and Sacrifice is the sequel to Salt and Sanctuary, but it takes a risky approach by introducing monster hunter-like elements. While it offers challenging combat, diverse enemies, and an expansive world, the blend of Monster Hunter, Metroidvania, and Souls-like mechanics doesn't work perfectly. The lack of a map and fast travel system makes navigation a little frustrating, and the repetitive nature of chasing down mages and boss hunts becomes tiresome. However, the game excels in its core combat, customization options, and cooperative play, which elevates the overall experience. Despite its flaws, Salt and Sacrifice manages to integrate Monster Hunter mechanics into a Metroidvania Souls-like formula. It offers a satisfying progression of loot and customization options with unique weapon and armor sets for each defeated mage. The implementation of co-op is a standout feature, providing an accessible and enjoyable multiplayer experience. While the game has its drawbacks, such as the grind and repetition required, it still holds appeal for players who enjoy the challenge and are willing to overlook its flaws. In the fantasy RPG Outward, the concept of immortality takes a different twist. Instead of dying, <coughs> you simply fall unconscious and wake up elsewhere, which initially seems fearless. However, failure in Outward comes at a cost, time. You must spend time healing, resting, and restocking supplies after each defeat. The game's autosave feature and absence of fast travel create a harsh and punishing experience where every decision and action requires careful consideration. Outward's survival elements, intricate magic system, and the weight given to choices make it a unique and challenging RPG that balances triumph and failures in a meaningful way. Outward provides players with a mix of both love and frustration. The game is filled with stories of failure, from encountering unexpected enemies to losing important items. Setbacks can be time-consuming, such as retracing steps across vast regions or dealing with glitches. However, these difficulties add depth and meaning to the character's journey, making victories all the more rewarding. Outward's magic system stands out by requiring careful preparation and sacrificing physical health, adding complexity and making spells feel powerful. Despite its rough edges, Outward's emphasis on meaningful choices, immersive gameplay, and the co-op multiplayer option make it a captivating and unconventional RPG experience. Hellpoint is a Souls-like game that closely follows the formula established by From Software's Dark Souls series. It features respawn checkpoints, the loss of currency upon death, methodical combat, challenging encounters, and imposing boss monsters. Set in a sci-fi universe, the game offers a unique atmosphere and a strong combat system that compensates for its extensive bugs. The elaborate visuals with stunning exteriors and vibrant interiors add to the game's character. However, the lack of a compelling storyline and the absence of a map make navigation confusing and aimless. The combat in Hellpoint stands out as its strongest aspect. Despite initial awkwardness, the fluidity of gameplay grows on the player, with quick dodging and aggressive tactics proving effective. Progression is satisfying, with the ability to upgrade weapons and unlock special abilities. While enemy variety is limited, Limited, each enemy type offers a distinct challenge. The difficulty curve can be inconsistent, and the game occasionally introduces new concepts without proper explanation. Additionally, Hellpoint suffers from numerous bugs and performance issues, which 
kind of hinders the overall experience. However, the inclusion of split-string co-op in online multiplayer adds a cooperative dimension to the gameplay similar to Dark Souls multiplayer mechanics. The Last Aura Crew stands out in the crowded market of Souls-like games by delivering a captivating blend of science fiction and fantasy elements, accompanied by a strong emphasis on storytelling. Players assume the role of Silver, an alien protagonist navigating the medieval world of Wardenia, embroiled in a revolution between the Nabaru and the Firkin. I don't know what the hell I just said. The game offers an impressive level of player agency with branching paths and choices that shape the narrative, creating a unique and personalized experience. One notable feature that sets the last Aura Crew apart is its inclusion of local co-op, allowing players to team up with a friend for an immersive cooperative adventure. This cooperative gameplay enhances the overall experience, enabling players to strategize together and tackle the challenges of the game's unrefined combat system as a team. While the combat mechanics may have some rough edges, the game compensates with its intriguing setting and a rich variety of environments to explore. From medieval castles to futuristic spaceships, each location offers a distinct atmosphere and visual appeal. The Last Aura Crew's dedication to world building and its commitment to providing players with meaningful choices make it a worthy addition to the Souls-like genre. Despite its technical shortcomings. Watcher Chronicles, the debut offering from Third Sphere Game Studios, embraces the essence of the Souls-like genre in a 2D action RPG format. While it treads familiar ground, the game delivers a satisfying combat experience that adheres to the beloved tropes of its inspiration. The unique cutout animation style, although divisive, adds a distinct visual flair, with vibrant environments that enhance the game's overall appeal. Combat in Watcher Chronicles successfully captures the essence of the Souls-like experience, emphasizing strategic stamina management and challenging boss encounters. The players can customize their character through a variety of weapons and equipment, providing meaningful choices and diverse play styles. The upgrade system and inclusion of ascension points allow for character progression and specialization. While exploration may lack the complexity and intricate level design of other titles in the genre, Watcher Chronicles still offers an enjoyable journey through its 2D world. The in-game map, aids, navigation, and occasional shortcuts provide a sense of discovery. The music, while not exceptional, complements the gameplay effectively with atmospheric tracks and intense boss battle themes. Although Watcher Chronicles falls short in terms of narrative depth and voice acting, it manages to deliver an engaging gameplay experience that will resonate with fans of the Souls-like genre. By adhering to familiar mechanics and incorporating its unique art style, the game carves its own niche in the genre, offering an enjoyable adventure worth embarking upon. Bloodborne Demake was made to look like a game that could have been seen on the PlayStation 1. Developed by Lilith Walther brings the iconic PS4 classic closer to PC gamers, capturing the essence of the original game in a nostalgic 1997 style format. The chunky character models, muddy textures, and revamped controls create an authentic PS1 experience, complete with manual weapon transformations in a clunky old-school menu. The retro visuals enhance the Lovecraft-inspired world, evoking an eerie atmosphere and maintaining enemy readability. Despite control changes, the gameplay remains enjoyable, allowing players to rely on muscle memory while facing challenging enemies and thrilling boss fights. Although Bloodborne PSX focuses on central Yarnman, I don't know if that's how you say it, and a few boss battles, the D-Make surprises players with new elements that give it a unique identity. Additional tweaks such as using the insight mechanic to unlock areas, loading screens for respite, and adjustable PS1 style effects further enhance the experience. The game had an update that now allows you to play through the whole thing in split-screen co-op. Rather than a mere novelty, Bloodborne PSX stands as a quality D-Make that offers a fresh perspective on a beloved world, and provides a satisfying Souls-like experience for those eagerly awaiting a Bloodborne sequel. A stencil, developed and published by Roan Vine, takes inspiration from From Software's Bloodborne, presenting a dark and mysterious world where players navigate as a faceless protagonist. The combat mechanics closely resemble those of Bloodborne, requiring well-timed attacks and dodges to overcome enemies. However, a stencil introduces unique elements such as cosmetic equipment, 
cooperative play with friendly NPCs called partners, and the ability to find magical abilities. While a stencil may initially appear unfinished, beneath its mediocre graphics and voiceless NPCs lies a well-crafted game that shows promise. The developer skills are evident in the game's ability to emulate the Souls-like genre. With some graphical improvements, comprehensive world building, voice dialogue, and a better UI for keyboard, the stencil has the potential to offer a unique and original experience. If you're seeking a quick fix after finishing Bloodborne or similar games, Extensil can provide a really great time. Though those desiring a longer and more finely detailed game may want to explore some other options. What are some other couch co-op Souls-like games? Let us know. And if you liked this video, be sure to watch our top 20 three-player co-op video. Thank you for watching.